Right now on Local 10 News at 4 o'clock, continuous coverage on the Orlando nightclub massacre. Officials working around the clock to try to piece together America's deadliest mass shooting. Right now we're learning more about the 29-year-old gunman Omar Mateen who killed 49 people and injured another 53. And new for you at 4 o'clock, Mateen's father speaking to Local 10 News, insisting he did not see this terror attack coming. This as the world mourns the victims and family and friends continue to wait on the condition of their loved ones. We have live team coverage. Good afternoon from Orlando. I'm Lori Jennings. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And today the spotlight is clearly on those families who were grieving overnight and are going to be grieving for a very long time and agonizing 24 hours for so many families who are waiting for notification. And this morning, many of them got it. We know that 48 of the 49 bodies have been positively identified at this hour and more than 30 families have been notified next of kin. But that work, that grim work is still underway right now. As you look on this montage of pictures of victims, it is heartbreaking to see. And so many of them just at the beginning of their lives in their 20s and 30s out at the most popular gay nightclub in all of Orlando putting a face on all of the tragedy that has happened in Orlando and new for you at four o'clock now the moment of gunfire when it erupted we have this snapchat video for you we want to show you this is on Amanda Alvear's snapchat you can see the confusion in her face as the gunman began shooting many people never saw that gunman walking in there and opening fire in fact some people who were in there partying thought that the gunfire was part of the show for that night and so they never heard those gunshots and when many of them did it was too late others running behind the bars, diving behind the bars and running into the bathrooms and in the VIP lounge, running out as fast as they could. Many escaped, but many were trapped. And Amanda Alviar, who shot that video and put it on her Snapchat, she was just 25 years old. She was the face, the first face to be placed at a memorial that is growing at this hour right in front of City Hall. That is where our own Erica Rako is live for us because a large vigil is planned there tonight. And we're going to join Erica in just a few minutes, but we want to take you back to this morning as that memorial was growing. Terror in Orlando, raising serious questions about the gunman, 29-year-old Omar Mateen. How a man on the FBI's radar, interviewed three separate times for possible ties to terrorism, is able to legally buy the weapons used to kill 49 people and injure 53 others. So far, we see no indication that this was a plot directed from outside the United States. FBI Director Paul Comey says the agencies first became aware of Mateen in May of 2013 when he started making statements about terrorism. He said he hoped that law enforcement would raid his apartment and assault his wife and child so that he could martyr himself. When this was reported to us, the FBI's Miami office opened a preliminary investigation. During a 10-month investigation, the FBI interviewed Mateen twice, during which time he said he made the statements because he felt he was being discriminated against. But just before the shootings, he declared allegiance to ISIS. It appears that the shooter uh, was inspired by uh, various extremist uh, information uh, that was disseminated uh, over the Internet. The 29-year-old gunman engaged with police officers outside the nightclub before entering and opening fire on patrons. Mateen then retreated into a club bathroom where he took several people hostage. This is when Mateen called 911. There was talk about bomb vests, about explosives uh, throughout, and then there were statements made about imminent loss of life. And so that's why I made the decision to make the entry at that time. Police used armored vehicles and special equipment to punch a two-foot hole into the wall of the club. We were able to rescue dozens and dozens of people uh, that came out of that hole. Mateen was killed when police opened fire as he emerged from the hole carrying two guns. His father, Sadiq Mateen, spoke out on Monday and insists he did not see this coming. What he did was completely an uh, act of terrorist. I wish I did know that what he was doing, if I did catch him, I would have arrested it myself. 